Hi there everyone, it's Jennifer. A few days ago I shared a video where I showed five easy ways to add gold foil to your projects. There were five very different ways and the fifth technique was my favorite and the one I got the most questions about so I thought I'd show that in more detail here today. This technique of adding gold foil uses a laser printer and a laminator. Now don't let that intimidate you, it's very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it today. But the results are fantastic. You can see the intricate gold foil that I get against the cardstock here in any image that you would want. And there are other colors of foil too if you don't want to use gold. In this video I will show you a very easy way to create an image that you can print on your own. Now you need to use a laser printer, a printer with toner in it, in order for this technique to work. I have a very inexpensive laser printer at home, just a black and white laser printer. I'll link to the one that I use and it works great for this technique. However, if you do not have a laser printer, you can take your image to like a Kinko's and they can print it for you with the toner that's necessary to do this. So it's very easy. You will also need a laminator, but I use just an inexpensive one and it works great. And I'll show you that in this video also. This technique actually has been around for a long time. This is nothing new, but I will warn you that it is extremely addictive. I'm finding myself wanting to print out all kinds of things and adding foil to it because the results are so fantastic. Now what might be the most challenging part of this is creating a printout, something to print like this birth birthday wishes message. If you don't use Photoshop or Illustrator or, or have any kind of software like that, it may seem intimidating. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can open up an image in Word, resize it there, and then change it into black and white, and then just print it right to a laser printer, or you can take it to Kinko's to have them print it for you. And by the way, this technique will not work with an inkjet printer. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to download a free uh, printable, open it up in Word, and change it just to get it ready for this technique. I'm going to be using this circle of words that you see here. Now keep in mind there are many ways to do what I'm about to show you, but I wanted to be able to show you how to do this in Word. Okay, so let's go download our free printable. I got this from Studio Calico. I'll put a link in the YouTube description below. I love their downloads, their digital downloads. You just go into shop and then go to digital. Many websites have digital sections, so I encourage you to look around. What's nice is here they have lots of free ones. So I'm going to go down to free and you can see lots of things pop up. The first printable is the one that we're actually going to use. This is a Valentine's Day printable and I actually filmed this before Valentine's Day but didn't get around to the voiceover until after Valentine's Day, but I think it works all year round. So what you need to do is add this to your cart and then you go and you check out as if you were buying something, but it doesn't actually charge you. So you just sign in, check out, and then you'll be able to download this printable and save it to your desktop. Now this adorable image has lots of great colors that you could print in color and hang on the wall if you wanted to or to, you could use it on a card. But I'm going to show you how to resize it and turn it into a black image so that you can print it out on your black laser printer and use the technique I'm going to show you today. So I'm opening this up in Word because this is a software that many of us have. You go up to the top and you click insert and then picture and then do um, from file and you find that file that we just downloaded. I have it on my desktop. I'm gonna take that, go down and choose that one, and then click insert. So I'm just opening this picture up in a Word document, just because this is software that many of us have. So now I can take these little corners and I can drag it either bigger or smaller. I'm gonna drag this a little bit smaller here because I wanna use this on a card. Again, you could open this up in any kind of photo editing software and work with it, but I wanted to show you in Word because many of us have this software. Now when I print this for this technique, I want the image to be solid black or really dark so that I get a lot of that toner on my paper for the technique. So I don't want this to print in gray. So I'm going to go under Format and then choose Picture, and then all these options come up. I'm going to click the option again that says Picture here, and this will allow me to convert this to a really dark, almost black image. So I'm going to click Picture there, and I'm going to take the brightness and drag it all the way to the left, all the way down, and that makes my image dark. There are other ways to convert this to just a black line image, but I thought this was the quickest to go with today. Okay, so now I'm going to click OK, and this guy is ready to go. I can print this on my laser printer and then onto just white cardstock or whatever color cardstock I want, and it'll be good to use for our technique. If you don't have a laser printer, you could just save this onto a little thumb drive and take it to Kinko's, and they can print it for you. 
You can use copier machine too. So if you have an image and you just want to Xerox copy it, um, copy machines also, uh, often have the toner that's needed for this technique. So I'm just going to go ahead and print this to my laser printer onto some Nina White cardstock. And there you can see the results here. So I'm just going to trim this down so that it's ready for a card. Believe it or not, we're almost done with the foiling technique at this point. The next thing we need is a laminator. Now there are many laminators out there and you can try whatever laminator you may have with the technique that we're using today. I found that this Royal Sovereign is very inexpensive and works very well with this technique. So this is one that I would recommend. I've had great success with it and it has a release button in the back too. So if your piece has gone through far enough for the technique, you can pull it out. It kind of releases it. It has two settings. Both settings actually work with the technique we're doing today. Next, you need some foil, some transfer foil. I've been using deco foil. This is from ThermaWeb. It's kind of hard to find these days because it's in high demand again. But this comes in many colors. It's inexpensive. There's a lot in one roll. And I just absolutely love it. The shine is beautiful. I have also found success with Ranger's foil. So that's another one that you can try. But here you can see there's many of the sheets of this inside the roll. So I cut a piece of the gold that's big enough to cover our image here and you want to put it so that the color that you want is facing up. So the matte silver side is facing down. Now my laminator is warmed up. The little ready button is showing here. I, I'm taking a piece of typing paper. This is just going to be a carrier sheet. I'm folding it in half and I'm going to put my printed piece and the piece of foil inside that carrier sheet. And I'm going to run this through the laminator. It just takes a couple minutes for it to, um, to work its way through the machine. It slowly goes through, puts pressure and heat on it, and does the um, gold transfer for us. Now, if you don't have a laminator, you can use an iron, but I don't think the results are nearly as good as you get with a laminator. And I think this laminator is only like $20, and I've used it for many different things in our house. You can see the carrier sheet starting to come out the other side of the laminator. And once you're sure your gold piece is all the way through, you can release it or you can just let it ride all the way through. I'm just going to wave this a little bit till it's cool and then I just peel off the foil and check it out. Everywhere there was toner, I now have that gold foil. And check out the negative space too. You could glue this onto a project. I think that's beautiful also. I just think this is gorgeous and so easy to do. I wanted to also show you I did this with a uh, teal color too and look how beautiful that is also. So they these foils come in many colors, even rainbow. So you can get a lot of pieces in one of the in one of the packages and use it for many, many projects. Now this is another download that I got from Studio Calico. It says birthday wishes. If you want to, you could just use your own fonts and create your own messages in Word and then print them out. On this one, I decided I wanted to do two colors of foil. So I'm doing the teal and the gold. And I just carefully kind of position them where I want them to be. And then put them in the carrier sheet and run them through the laminator. And by the way, I wanted to say a little bit more about the laser printer. The laser printer that I use is one that I've had for a long time. It's an inexpensive black and white brother laser printer. It's the one that I use for my everyday printing for all, you know, school stuff and things like that. So I didn't buy a printer just for this technique. It's a good printer just to have on hand anyways. So it works for this technique and that makes it even better. So you just peel off the foil and check out. You can get multi-colors with this technique too. I just think that is beautiful. And I have one more example here. This is another download from Studio Calico. So keep in mind that anything that you can print onto a laser printer, so any downloads or anything that you type up, anything at all, you can turn into foil using this technique. I also want to mention that this technique may vary from printer to printer and laminator to laminator, so you just need to try it out. If you find that your print, you have a laser printer and the foil isn't transferring completely, you may want to try printing it at a higher quality so that it puts out more of the toner and that may give you better results. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this one into a card here. I have a 5 inch by 5 inch card base that I created. And I've also cut a piece of white fun foam that's a little bit smaller than my uh, foil panel here. And that's just going to give it some nice even dimension. So I'm putting adhesive on the two areas, putting the fun foam in between them to sandwich it in there. You can see it gives it a little bit of dimension. And then glue that onto my card. I just really love that white on white with a bit of dimension. Keeps it simple and lets that gold foiling shine. 
I also wanted some simple embellishments on here, so I die cut a bunch of red foil hearts. This is just some red foil cardstock from Die Cuts with a View, and I'm adding them with some foam tape and also some multi-medium. This is a great liquid adhesive. Just kept this simple with the red hearts up against the gold. These would be great cards to like mass produce for the holidays because you can print off a bunch, do all the laminating, and then just add simple embellishments. On this one, I did a gold foil mat. This is the gold foil um, cardstock that I like from Die Cuts with a View. It comes in a lot of beautiful colors and it matches nicely with the foiling technique. And I did a little heart on this one too and kept it quite simple. Now for the blue piece that I showed you earlier, I went ahead and die cut a large heart from it. And this I'm just gonna keep like this and write a note on the back of it and stick it in my son's lunchbox. I think when you have all that shine, you don't really need to do much else and you have a finished project. This technique becomes very addictive, but it also can save the day. I wanted to tell you a funny story. The other day I found out last minute that my two-year-old's class was actually doing a uh, Valentine exchange in their Montessori. I didn't know it and I needed to come up with something quickly. I can't really do store-bought since I make cards for a living, so I decided to use this technique. I went online, I found a Hello Kitty coloring page, a free download online, and I downloaded it and then I went in and I added the words Happy Valentine's Day from Lila. I printed out a bunch of them with my laser printer on white cardstock and then I put pink and purple foil on it and laminated them and then just glued it on pink cardstock. In 45 minutes I had all 15 valentines done and my daughter was thrilled and I was happy to use this fun technique. So there you have it, lots of information on how you can use your laser printer along with gold foil to create really awesome results. If you're interested in the products I use, I link them below in my YouTube description. And you can head over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com where I have a lot more information. If this video is helpful, please let YouTube know by giving it a thumbs up and I hope you'll return again soon. Thanks for stopping by.